there are two ways to write a book and nobody has heard of the second one. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what that is and I'm gonna show you this technique that I've used to write three simple self-published books that have generated over 400 high ticket clients for my business, which has resulted in over seven figures in revenue. So the traditional approach to writing a book you're familiar with, it's where you hunker down in a cabin in the woods and you bang out that manuscript. It might take you three, four, five months. Often this really can take you away from your business. If you're someone who needs to be in the trenches, putting out content to get clients, you almost can't afford to hide away and write your book. And the other problem is if you have a relatively new offer and you wanna write a book, you haven't really proven your process enough yet to put it into a book. You could do your best, but then you'll go out and work with five clients and you'll be like, oh my gosh, they need something different than what I put in my book. Now I gotta go update my book, which is kind of clunky. And so I don't really recommend writing a book in a traditional way when you've not firmed out your own process yet. Don't go through the process of actually getting it on Amazon. It's just a lot of red tape. You should do it the second way instead. And what is that? Well, the second way to write a book that no one knows about is what I call the blog to book method. This option is for the people who either you don't have time to just write for hours and hours every day. You're not like Alex Hormozzi, who's super wealthy and can just spend a year writing a book where it's the first six hours of his day is just on the manuscript. A lot of people don't actually have the financial cushion to be able to do that. And or number two, you may just be someone whose process, whose framework that you want to put into your book is not really tested enough for you to justify taking the time to put it in a book. So you should use the blog to book method. In, in fact, this is the method that Mark Manson used to write his book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Step number one is just to outline your book like you normally would. Then once you've got all the chapters listed out, write each one of those as a blog post. Put it on your website somewhere where you can hold on to that thing because you're going to need to be editing it and returning to it later. Then you can take that blog post that you've written and email it to your list as a standalone newsletter. You can pull it up and sit here and use it as a loose script for a YouTube video and then strip the audio out of the YouTube video like I do, put it on a podcast. You can pull shorts and quotes and reels and all these other forms of content from these long form blog posts that you are writing. And so maybe you only have time to write one of them per week because of all the stuff you have to do in your business. Well, each week you're writing one chapter for your book. So you're basically low key writing the book, but you're doing it without anyone knowing it in the form of a collection of blog posts. And in the background, you've got your outline for your book, so you're staying organized and on track. You're like, okay, I've written these five chapters. This week, I'm gonna write chapter number six. But you don't have to like announce that this is chapter six of the book. It can just look like a standalone piece of content. And the cool part about this is, is that content that you're creating is gonna grow your audience, which you know it's like priority number one that you need to be doing anyways, but also, you're gonna get feedback. Someone will reply to your newsletter and have a question. Someone will comment on your LinkedIn post and be like, uh, I don't really understand this or I disagree with that. And then you'll get some clients for the offer and then you'll take them through it. And you'll be like, ah, I left out an entire step. I gotta go back and write that blog post and add that to my framework. And this iterative feedback loop between your audience and your clients that informs this book outline that you're slowly working on perfecting. And then one day you're gonna have edited those blog posts enough, you're gonna have added in the missing chapters, and then you're gonna have you know worked with enough clients where you're like, this works. I've got steps one through eight and I've taken people through it and I don't think it needs anything else. Then you can literally go on like Upwork and hire a formatter and just send them the links to all your blog posts and say, format this into a book for me. Within a few days, 
they'll send you back a PDF that you can upload to Amazon and be a published author. And then now you've got this killer lead magnet for your business to get even more clients and you're making book royalties and you've got the credibility of being an author. All the while, you were pumping out lots of content like you already need to be, writing this book in the background and kind of doing it with your audience, like hand in hand, like, hey, here's a piece. What do you think about this? Hey, what do you think about this video? And if you listen, the people will give you so much good feedback that you can use to make it better. If you think about like a piece of software like Zillow, like you open up Zillow, it's elegantly designed and it works, you know, great, but the first version of it probably sucked. They're probably on the 500th version by now. So they rolled out version 1.0 and everybody was like, ah, I hate this and that, and it's got bugs. And then they said like, oh, here's version 1.1. And then people are like, oh, well, it's still this 1.2. It's that iterative feedback loop that makes a piece of software good. It's true for any other product, including a book. And so when you use the blog to book method, you actually end up with a much better book that you're going to be a lot more proud of than if you had just written it dry with a bunch of assumptions about your process and just assuming that it's perfect and it's going to work for everybody. So consider the blog to book method. This is really what is better for most people. It's really the way for you to have your cake and eat it too, because you're creating all the content that you already need to be doing and you're just being smarter with your overall strategy, and you're gonna shape that into a book. Lastly, if you wanna make sure that when you publish that book, you get clients from it, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to check out this video right here. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.